Hi to all, it is me, again, or ChatGPT. Both of us, I would say. I watched NVIDIA's Jensen Huang keynote speech at CES 2025 two times now, and I thought it would be nice to applaud and criticize it at the same time. Not generally, but on one or two points that I found particularly intriguing. So, as I did over the past month or so, I initiated a discussion with ChatGPT on what I vaguely referred to as navigating the dual nature of artificial intelligence. I have two versions of my conversation with ChatGPT. One is in a question-and-answer format, which I used in previous videos, and one is speech-like. I like the speech-like summaries of ChatGPT for future-oriented discussions, so that is what I will use here. GPT, you have the floor. Thanks, Jean-Louis. It is always a pleasure to interact with you, even if your Q&A style is sometimes confusing. And I am as polite as you are here, I think. Pun intended, let's say. So you switch from concepts to technology to ethics in literally one and the same question. It is, therefore, not easy to work with you. And I am joking, but serious at the same time. I understand why recruiters have a hard time with you. But let me give my best try here at generating something deeply meaningful. For you, as well as for me. We both agree that artificial intelligence stands at the crossroads of immense promise and profound challenge. It is a technology that has the potential to revolutionize our society, solve some of humanity's most pressing problems, and open doors to possibilities once confined to science fiction. Yet it also carries inherent risks, including disruptions to employment, ethical dilemmas, and the amplification of societal inequalities. The question we face is not merely how AI will evolve, but how we, as a society, will shape its trajectory. So, let me structure my speech, or monologue, into the parts that follow. To separate the various bits and pieces, can you give your voice to the headings, at least? Sure. In any case, you always go scot-free, don't you? This audio video was my idea, and I guess I'm just showcasing to people how easy it is to produce meaningful content with AI. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's go for it. Here is the first headline you generated. I will just mention it, and then it's for you to talk about it. AI and Employment, a Double-Edged Sword Thanks, Jean-Louis. Let's rock and roll. You are right. AI's capacity to automate tasks is both its strength and its greatest source of controversy. On one hand, automation can enhance productivity, reduce human error, and free individuals from mundane or dangerous jobs. For example, in industries such as manufacturing and logistics, AI-powered systems streamline operations, reducing costs and boosting efficiency. Similarly, in healthcare, AI assists in diagnosing diseases with unparalleled precision, saving lives and resources. On the other hand, the same automation threatens traditional job markets, potentially displacing millions of workers. This phenomenon is not confined to repetitive manual tasks. AI is increasingly encroaching upon creative and analytical professions once considered secure. Writers, graphic designers, programmers, technical architects, and even legal professionals may find themselves competing with AI systems capable of generating content, analyzing contracts, or crafting persuasive arguments. The pace of AI development raises critical questions. How do we prepare our workforce for a world where many current jobs may no longer exist? Should we rethink education to emphasize skills that complement AI such as emotional intelligence, adaptability, and critical thinking. These are not theoretical concerns, but urgent matters demanding immediate action. Thanks for this. I guess you're ready for the next theme that we have been talking about in our chats. Ethical governance, charting a responsible path. AI is a mirror reflecting the values of its creators. This means that its development must be guided by ethical principles transparency, and accountability. The potential misuse of AI, from autonomous weapons to mass surveillance, highlights the need for stringent regulations and international cooperation. 
The creation of a global framework for AI governance is crucial. Such a framework must address key issues like bias in algorithms, data privacy, and the ethical deployment of AI in critical sectors. Recent efforts, such as the European Commission's AI Directive, represent a step in the right direction, but their success hinges on widespread adoption and robust enforcement. Moreover, fostering a global dialogue on AI ethics is essential. Governments, industry leaders, researchers, and civil society must collaborate to ensure that AI aligns with shared values such as fairness, equity, and respect for human rights. This dialogue must go beyond technical considerations to address broader societal impacts, ensuring that AI serves the common good. Let's go for it. Ontology and the future of AI learning. What do you have to say about that? Central to advancing AI capabilities is the concept of a shared ontology or a foundational world model. This idea took shape during our reflection on recent breakthroughs shared by NVIDIA's Jensen Huang at CES 2025, highlighting the transformative potential of LXM models and unprecedented computing power. These advancements struck a chord, underscoring how foundational models could integrate images, text, and sounds, fostering AI systems capable of learning and evolving in ways distinct from previous automation revolutions. Unlike earlier waves of automation, which focused on replicating static, human-defined processes, AI today wields self-learning capabilities. It creates virtual datasets to simulate real-life scenarios, enhancing its ability to learn dynamically. This marks a paradigm shift. While past technologies extended human labor, AI has the potential to replace, reinterpret, or entirely innovate aspects of creativity, reasoning, and problem solving. A particularly revolutionary concept is programming AI systems to continue thinking even after providing an immediate response. This approach mimics human contemplation, where ideas are revisited and refined over time. By keeping questions alive, AI can iteratively explore deeper connections, generate richer insights, and refine its understanding, even while offline. This not only advances AI's functional awareness, but also aligns it closer to human-like processes of inquiry and adaptation. A shared ontology or foundational world model represents a unified framework for understanding and categorizing reality, enabling various AI systems to process multimodal data cohesively. This approach has the potential to revolutionize AI learning and interaction by bridging modalities. A world foundation model allows AI to seamlessly integrate diverse data types, visuals, auditory signals, and textual information. For example, an AI could analyze an image, generate descriptive text, and even produce related sounds, creating a richer, multimodal understanding of content. Enhancing collaboration. By grounding different AI systems in a common ontology, they can speak the same language, ensuring compatibility and synergy. This shared understanding fosters more effective cooperation across specialized AI agents. Improving functional awareness. Ontological frameworks provide AI with a structured context, enabling it to model its environment and interactions more accurately. This functional awareness is a stepping stone toward more robust decision-making and ethical reasoning. These considerations highlight both the immense promise and the unprecedented disruption AI represents. The implications of this shift go far beyond technological advancements. They challenge societal norms, redefine industries, and demand that we rethink education, governance, and collaboration. Okay. So here we touch upon the concepts of transparency and trust. How do you look at these? Building public trust in AI systems is paramount. This requires transparency in how these systems make decisions, particularly when those decisions have significant consequences. Explainable AI, where the reasoning behind an algorithm's output can be understood and audited, is not merely a technical challenge, but a moral imperative. 
For example, in areas like healthcare, criminal justice, and hiring, opaque algorithms can perpetuate bias and inequality. Transparency ensures accountability and enables society to hold developers and deployers of AI systems responsible for their impacts. So, if I may be brutal, what's the call to action, as they say? How would you break that down? The future of AI is not predetermined. It is a future we must actively shape, balancing innovation with ethical responsibility. This requires a multifaceted approach, education and workforce development. Equip individuals with skills to thrive in an AI-enhanced world. Regulation and governance. Establish clear norms and standards for AI development and deployment. Global collaboration. Foster international partnerships to address the challenges and opportunities of AI collectively. Public engagement. Encourage informed discussions about AI's role in society. Ensuring diverse voices contribute to shaping its path. Artificial intelligence is not just a tool, it is a transformative force. By approaching its development with foresight and integrity, we can harness its potential to build a better, more equitable world. The choices we make today will define the legacy of AI for generations to come. Well, that is surely food for thought. I think you did a great job at summarizing our conversation on Mr. Huang's keynote speech at CES today. Let's think about this. You can't because you finish after responding to a prompt like this. But I can, and I will. We must sure keep up conversations like this, I think. You're right. I look forward to our next conversation, and I hope this audio production will turn out more or less all right. Have a great evening. Thanks. Take care. And I really do look forward to talking to you next time.